Hello everybody, it's Jonathan, otherwise known as Senor Smoke at Curdo's in Westchester County. I, um, I am not actually at Curdo's today at the showroom. I'm kicking it in the yard. I've got the Primo uh, firing away next to me, getting ready for some reverse sear ribeye action shortly. And uh, I'm standing in front of uh, my lady over here. This is Big Iron, and uh, it's a 42 inch alfresco sear zone model on a cart kicking ass um, and I want to talk to you actually about alfresco right now I mean what better what better time to do this than on a frigid December day where we still have snow uh, on the ground it matters not this is arguably the best time to be grilling and smoking out there folks um, I don't have a thing for mosquitoes and humidity so I'm definitely a winter griller anyway um, the reason I want to talk about the alfresco I got some pictures the other day of a 56 inch alfresco which is the whopper the jumbo it's the biggest gas grill there is on the market um, and a customer who came in this summer and actually flew in from Indiana all right and I uh, did a test drive of the alfresco here in my yard and was totally just won over by it and bought one from me um, he bought the alfresco 56 BFG model on the you know on the cart and um, that model it's the biggest the baddest uh, BFG stands for big blanking grill again I like to call it big iron and um, uh, the pictures as you can see here are uh, of something just um, astonishing you can see here with the lights on the flaps down on the side you got 56 inches right there plus 12 12 to 14 inches or so on each side uh, so we're talking somewhere along the lines of close to 80 inches of metal uh, in your yard and uh, it brings the a game um, it, just by looking at the picture what you can do is break down this thing and show the versatility that is involved with this grill because if you go we move left to right you can see all the different cooking zones um, the left side all the 56 inch models from alfresco are going to come with an embedded sear zone you can't get away from that folks that's just the way they come um, I wish there was an option not to have one in there because in a my sear zone here um, I don't even really use it anymore to be honest with you I use well I'll get to what I sear with if I'm not using the Kamado um, you got your sear zone on the left and we like to call the sear zone on the alfresco the hellfire burner then we move towards the middle which is our normal quote-unquote grilling space and then on the right hand side okay um, what he did you'll notice it's elevated that's the solid fuel insert and that was one of the reasons why he bought this grill and why he wanted to come over uh, to my place and test it out um, the solid fuel insert just brings so much more to the table and more times than not, if I'm actually going to be searing uh, one the alfresco, it's not on the sear zone. It's on, it's on the solid fuel insert because uh, by being introduced to solid fuel cooking, live fire cooking uh, several years ago um, on, this, on the ceramics, uh, like my Primo and my Kamado Joe. I mean, I just, I never went back. I mean, it's, it's all about using solid fuel, the flavor, the temperature, the searing heat. Um, it, it, it's just the smell. I mean, when I'm hanging out in the yard with that aroma kicking in, it's just intoxicating. So um, we're all about the solid fuel, and that's how I pitch it to people. I mean, it's not really for smoking because you can't do a low and slow smoke on this. I actually tried an experiment where I tried to turn the alfresco into a reverse um, and into a, a stick burner and that that just didn't work with the solid fuel so um, I'm never gonna tell you, you could smoke on this thing um, because you really can't but what the solid fuel does is it provides a searing engine which is unparalleled because we're getting that precise white-hot heat but we're adding flavor at the same time and that's how I use it how I pitch it to my customers so again with the 56 this is the BFG model by far the most most popular 56 inch self that there is sear zone regular grill and then solid fuel insert on the right hand side now he could always take that solid fuel insert out and now he has uh, what is tantamount to a 42 inch standard grill okay um, 42 inch standard grill uh, normal uh, the um, uh, the 18 SR u-shaped burners and then the saw and then the uh, the sear zone on the left hand side 
So we've covered the different burners that you can use on the top of the 56 inch grill, the sear, the normal U-shaped burners, and the solid fuel insert as an accessory. But the other cool thing is that you know you don't lose anything um, in terms of the smoker box with the front facing uh, smoker urban fusion system, which I don't know, can I actually, yeah, the video's not set up, but the camera's not set up low enough to see it. But just like you do in all the other Alfresco grills, you get that urban fusion system front facing, very easy to load up wood chips or herbs. Um, this is definitely a better uh, system than any of the other premium grills which have a smoker box that either lays on top of the grates or is underneath. Thus, to reload it, you have to disrupt the whole cook, open up the hood, move food around, potentially lift grates up. We don't like that. Um, so Alfresco gets it right with that front facing loaded system and uh, also the very big difference actually is you know the incredible rotisserie system the integrated rotisserie that the alfresco grill offers um, with this with the 56 inch model you have two different rotisserie burners so in essence you, because of the size of the grill you could have you know the spit rod and you could have two different types of food spit roasting at different temperatures that both both burners are independently controlled that is totally kick-ass and there's nobody else who does that as well so again aside from all the other amazing things in terms of flame engine control and this and that you still got your smoker box you still got your integrated rotisserie and all the other great doodads the uh, silicone uh, wrapped uh, igniters and wiring which prolong life of the grill as long as you take care of it uh, the hood which actually will hold position at about uh, let's see where is that point there it is I held it it's held Okay, the, her, the hood actually, the handle turns with your wrist for those who suffer from carpal tunnel or other wrist maladies, that's going to help us as well. It's just the best damn built uh, premium gas grill on the market and you guys have seen plenty of videos, I've been talking about this for years, I've played around with plenty of other grills, I own other ones and I always come back to the big iron. You can see here by the pictures, the lighting, this thing just, it has presence, it has authority and it is absolutely the uh, i mean underlying definition of what badass is if you could fit one of these bad boys on a cart or build i mean most of them are going to be sold built in um if you actually want to do them on a cart they have this deluxe cart you could see in the picture with the doors and the drawers but they also have a refrigerated cart model, which surprisingly, even at about fourteen dollars to $15,000, we sell those as well. Um, and that's all made from Alfresco's uh, parent company who has big uh, placements in a lot of different commercial applications. So they build these things to commercial specs. They're built to last. Um, the 56 is the mothership. Um, it plays for keeps and it is my favorite grill out there. You can come to the Curto showroom soon. We will have one on display uh, amidst all of our other Alfresco uh, treats. So if there's any questions, folks, um, you know, please, I'll do a deeper dive uh, on the blog post. I, I, I think that many people just don't want to sit in, their, in front of their computers and watch me uh, prattle on for, uh, for 10 minutes on video. So if there's any other questions, you could always reach me, jonathanacurtos.com, uh, or call the showroom, and I'm happy to assist. And yes, very important here, we do ship Alfresco all over the country, as our friend here in Indianapolis, who's enjoying this grill, got it from yours truly. Um, folks, any other questions, you know where to hit me. Thank you for your time.